Good morning and welcome from Home Pro La Prao Bangkok. So this is just like your normal large hardware chain that you'd find in in the West. So in UK it's like a, a nicer version of B and Q. In the USA, I believe it's called uh, is it Home Mart? But you get everything here that, that you would in a, a Western DIY store. And a little bit more, there's quite a lot more for houses really, uh, as in appliances. And there's a, a few restaurants at front. What I have noticed from doing the renovation over here is I would 100% recommend getting everything from off the shelf in Thailand. So even if you you've got some things that aesthetically you like from the west so let's say uh you've got some taps that, that you found in the west that you want to bring over or light fittings or or anything like that anything from last fix i'd just recommend getting them from over here because i brought over some taps and light fittings and things like that and it yeah I, i've got them fitted but it has been a little bit of a pain to be honest it's not been as simple as it could have been, so I've had to, I've had to modify items, uh, plumbing-wise. I've had to modify items because everything over here is done on the old blue pie, even though it's hid away. Uh, whereas in in England, I know we have that like quick fix plastic piping now, but most people, including myself, I still like to work off copper, so. I would recommend just buying everything off the shelf over here and maybe compromising a little bit aesthetically because you just don't want problems. I wish I'd have done it. it. It's cost me a fraction more in money to sort out, but it, it's just been time of sourcing stuff, really. If you're moving over here and you're thinking about bringing, you know, shipping tools and stuff like that, if you're shipping a full container over, and you're wanting to fill space, which fair enough, but you can get some, all, all your branded tools over here now, and European ones, so Makita, you can get DeWalt, and there's some places that do uh, Milwaukee, but they don't seem to do them in here. But it, you might as well, again, you might as well sell your stuff off at home, or if you can keep it in storage, if you're keeping a house back home, I'd, uh, I'd advise doing that. There's no point bringing no power tools, uh, power tools from the West, sorry, when you can get them for about the same price, a little bit cheap on some items. So I'd, I'd definitely recommend that. I have found as well, uh, with a lot of the tradesmen, so, if people are, that you're using are going to subcontract out a lot of work, a lot of the time what they'll do is they'll just go to the cheapest worker they can find. So minimum wage is 350 baht a day. Yeah. So they'll subcontract a lot out to these 350 baht a day guys. And problem you'll get there is, yeah, they might be able to lay tiles, but if it's anything ornate, if it's anything a little bit off the cuff rather than just standard laying they really really struggle so if you are gonna if you are gonna lay on eight tiles realistically to get the best finish you're probably better off laying them yourself because you you understand what you want you understand how it should look uh, and it might save you a lot of stress that's something i found that some of the tiling i had to get them to do it three times before I were happy with the finish. Uh, so it is worth either finding that good guy or doing it yourself. We've been lucky now, we've found like a really good, uh, a really good tradesman who manages a lot of stuff. If he can't do it, he's got like trusted crew that he works with. So we've been really, really happy. But some of the brickies that I've seen have been, like I said, that they take on the job. They don't actually do any of the job themselves. They just sub it straight out to the lowest, lowest common denominator, like.
So yeah, so if you are looking for uh, hardware supplies in Thailand, you, you're definitely not short. In Bangkok, there's there's absolutely loads of uh, loads of hardware stores now, and it seems like DIY is getting that little bit more popular. So the the market for things is uh, the market for things has increased.